Hey there, Tall Man Clan. Welcome back. We are at Giant Recreation World in Ormond Beach, and we're looking at a bullet crossfire. We've never seen one of these before, so we're going to show it to you. It's the 1900 RD. So let's get right to it. Come on. Oh, you know what? You got two 20 pound propane tanks ready to go. Um, electric jack, which is awesome. So you just hit the button and uh, it comes right off the truck. Um, it is set up for two batteries. Um, and there is a battery disconnect right there. So you just turn that and it cuts all the power to the batteries if you're putting it in storage. Come on. There is a little storage bay up here, which by the way, they just got this in. So it's a little dirty. It hadn't been cleaned. I mean, literally just got here. So please take that in mind. So this is locked, but it is a storage bay. It's a pass through all the way to the other side. If you look up, it does have an electric awning, which covers almost the entire side. Okay. So you've got your normal RV type steps. Single axle. Oh, but get this. It's hard to see, but get down here. It's got electric jacks, the stabilization jacks. And so you don't have to crank those down when you're trying to level up your RV. You just hit a button and it just does it itself. All right. You got a spare tire mounted to the back, which is awesome. It is not pre wired for a backup camera, and there is no ladder. So if you're wanting those, you're going to have to add them after mount. A little bit of storage back here, which is nice. It actually goes up there quite a bit. So a little bit of storage, awesome. This is where you plug in your power. It's 30 amp, your water. All right, this is the other side of your, actually this is also water. That's where you, that's a fill tank. So this is your city connection. Um, this is the other side of your pass-through storage. Let's take a look at the numbers. All right, this has a gross vehicle weight of 4,700 pounds. So fully loaded guys, this is under 5,000 pounds. Okay, you have a cargo carrying capacity of, and I can't, oh, 1,000 pounds right there. So uh, so empty, this thing weighs, well, 3,700 pounds empty, 4,700 pounds fully loaded. All right, so let's go inside, come on. All right, so this is uh, an east to west bed. Um, for all you tall people out there, for, for those who don't know, I'm six foot four, okay? Use my six foot four height as a guide, okay? Um, you are not gonna fit on this bed inside because your feet will hit this. You will fit on the outside or diagonally. But if you're gonna be on the out, it's just a little awkward with this here. Just saying, six foot four, all right? Um, storage up above. Got some hanging storage to the right, which is awesome. When you come all the way and you go to the back, the living room is all the way back here, which is kind of neat, all right? And so it's a banquette. This is obviously the table right here. Um, there's posts that go here and the table would be here. This does convert into a bed at night. But it's kind of nice having the bed up here and the living room and everything else sort of in between it. It gives it a lot more space or at least a feeling of space in here, which is really nice. As you can see, it's got the accordion style blinds which are awesome okay we got a cute little kitchen here right yeah look at this um plenty of counter space actually in yeah this little that little area gives it yeah so much more space yeah and i mean there's storage under here too so yeah. very nice um you this is where you would put your tv yeah um you've got some cabinet storage overhead you have a sink right here a nice big bowl. With a, yeah, with a straw in there, so something <laughs> about their drink, their spilled their drink, a little sticky there. Um, well, we have a microwave here. This is a two burner stove. Nice. Yeah, and there's some storage underneath, as well as over here. Well, there we go. I guess that one's just, locked. Yeah. yeah that, Interesting. Yeah, that's, be locked. that's all right. Yeah. Remember the keys I was looking for for opening the storage? Yeah. There they are right there. They're hidden. That's one spot. Your refrigerator is over here. It is, and another it's, storage cabinet yep, there. Yep, this would well. probably be more like your food pantry or a secondary uh, place to hang clothes. But these shelves are also adjustable. So um, I really like with adjustable shelves in the food pantry. So, you know, if you've got big cans or big boxes or stuff like that, okay? Yeah, we were talking about the refrigerator, but we didn't actually open it up. Yep. It is a Dometic refrigerator. Yep. This is your standard propane slash electric refrigerator. So when you're driving down the road, it feeds off your propane to keep everything cold. And when you're plugged in, it works off electrical. Absolutely. Right. So this must be, well, of course it is. You know what time it is. It's time for Thomas Toilet Test. Ah! All right, everybody. So uh, we are squeezed in here. 
it's a little tight, but we're in, okay, which is great. Uh, this is a plastic foot flush toilet, not porcelain, it's a plastic, okay? Um, I do have just enough leg room uh, front to back. Um, as I said, it's a little bit tight, but Lisa, you see how this is curved in here, the countertop? Yes. It's curved to give your shoulder room while you're sitting on the toilet. So they're thinking ahead that, oh, this would be a little snug, so they cut that out, which is awesome. So definitely. Now the sink, as we just mentioned, nice countertop space, right? Um, it is an under counter mount, it's a small sink, but you know, you're just washing your hands or brushing your teeth. Um, there is some storage here. This is where you'd have to put your towels because it's the only place in here um, or store them somewhere else in the, in the RV, okay? There's a little medicine chest up here, which is great. Okay, and I did mention this, but I didn't open it. There's a little storage underneath, and you just have to sort of go around all the uh, the hoses and stuff for the water, okay? Now, this does have a little shower in it. Now, I mean little shower. Remember, guys, I am six foot four. Now, this one has a tub base, and the tub base is raised up so much off the floor, if I climbed up in there, my head would be bent over, okay? Again, you know what? I'm gonna do it for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so um, yeah, six foot four, not six foot four. Six foot four, not six foot four. Um, I would say under six feet, you would be okay. All right, I mean, it does have enough front to back and it's okay that way, but uh, if you're my height, you're not gonna fit in the shower, okay? Other than that, guys, this is uh, really a nice layout. As I mentioned outside, we've not been in one of these before. Um, it's very spacious with the living room all the way to the back and the, and the bedroom up in the front, right? Yeah. Kitchen and bathroom sort of side to side is kind of nice. Um, Cause it, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't have a slide, right? And so most uh, travel trailers that we look in that don't have slides, they feel a little confined. This one doesn't feel so confined. It doesn't. Yeah, it's kind of nice. All right, let us know what you think. Leave a, leave a note down there. If you found us for the first time, hey, guys, thank you so much for stopping. We appreciate you. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe. You know all that drill, right? For all the Tall Man Clan, thank you, guys. God bless you. We love you all so much. Until the next time we see you all, be safe.